Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I'll have a little taste. Just a little taste, Mr. Reeves. There you go. Thank you, sir. Cheers, sir. Cheers Good to you. see you again. Good to be seen. Ha-ha. <laughs> mm. Woo! So, tell me, what the fuck is going on? How is it? How's, how's things cracking? First of all, congratulations on being uh, proved correct mm -hmm. and that uh, there are literally mammoth bones, bison bones, all kinds of bones in the East River. Yes, you, you said it on this podcast, Dirty Water Dan went out and looked for them. They found bones. They found multiple bones. It's real. It's very real. So the museum dumped bones that belong to your property. Yep out there in the East River, and they're still out there for people to find. How, how many pounds were dumped, 50, roughly? 50 tons. 50 tons. 50. 50 tons. And that was told to me by one of the guys that wrote that report that I read on your show. Good Lord, that's a lot. I didn't know it was that many. Yeah, boxcar. And they found how many bones so far? I don't know. You don't I, know? I, I think uh, Dirty Water Don and those guys found three so far. Did I say Dan? Sorry, sorry. Uh, it's either Dan or Don. Don. I think it's, is it Dirty Water Dan or Dirty Water Don? Don. It's Don. Dirty Water Don. That's, so, that's a risky thing. That, that, that guy's diving in the East River. Yeah. That guy's. Yeah, there's a more guys out there too. How many guys are out there right now? Don't know how many, but I know there's others out there that are making finds. So are they using spotlights? Like how are they seeing things at the bottom of the East River? One is a research vessel. A research vessel. Yeah. And, Whoa. Uh, yeah, I'm in the gold mining industry, and we have a code that we don't talk about. So this is one piece, and this yeah. is uh, a jawbone, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, of a step bison. I believe so. I have never seen it. Mm. But I know he found that was one of the first things he found. He found some mammoth ivory. Yeah, and uh, he found another bone, right? Yes, sir. Some sort of like a... Looks like a uh, leg bone. Yeah. Right there, yeah. So this is his, uh, his Instagram is Dirty Water Dawn on Instagram, and that's another bone that they found right there. Yes, sir. And so they know roughly the location, and it's kind of amazing that this stuff was dumped in, was it the 30s? When was this dumped? Uh, in the 40s. The 40s. Yes, sir. So this stuff was dumped, th that's outrageous, that's an outrageous <laughs> photograph. How dare you, Dawn? Um, this stuff was dumped in the 40s, and to this day, like, th this is the first time that people have actually gone looking for things, correct? Yes, sir. So It's been a dirty little secret for yeah. decades. Well, proven true now. Yeah, it sure has been. Um, the museum still continues to deny it, though, correct? They won't talk to me. <laughs> When Why I, won't they talk to you? Well, and when I, Drew and Elora and I and my wife went to New York a few years ago, they were supposed to meet with us, and they decided to have us stand out in the rain for four hours. Really? Yeah. And they well, wouldn't meet with you? No. So you went all the way to New York to yes, meet sir. with them? Well, I went there to the Explorers Club to show the documentary. There was a screening of the documentary on the Boneyard. And what did they just decide, yeah. that you're too problematic? I think so, Yeah. Well, how are you problematic? I don't understand. I'm problematic in many, many ways. I think you're great. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I don't think they ever envisioned somebody like me owning this company. Right. That's probably the problem. Yeah. The problem is you're honest. Uh, to some degree. I'm a gold miner after all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mark Twain said a miner is a liar standing next to a hole in the ground. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Mark pretty... Twain was the shit. Yeah, wasn't he? He yeah. really was. Boy, was that guy ahead of his time. You know, a lot of people credit him for being the first stand-up comedian. I didn't know that. Yeah, because, you know, there's like stand-up comedy is a truly American art form. And um, it seems like Twain was the first guy to do it because essentially what he would do is read his humorous works in front of people. Mm -hmm. And they would all laugh. So he would, you know, be playing to the crowd. And... Uh, it, it was one of the first iterations of stand-up comedy was Mark Twain. And he obviously he's a very funny guy. Yeah. Very insightful and humorous and yep. so many great quotes from this one individual, you know? Yeah. So they left you in the rain and then nobody has spoken to you since or what? They don't talk to me. I, uh, 
What are they afraid of? It's not even them. You got to think this is all done in the 1940s. Everybody who did is probably dead. They just don't want to return the bones. Oh, so they have more bones. Oh, yeah. This is just the stuff they threw in the river is not even the good stuff. I don't know if you saw that little video I posted of the their collecting techniques where they threw them in a big pile. No idea where they came from. It's wow. on my, It's on my Instagram. So they just don't want to address it? So do you have lawyers involved? Like, what's going on so far? Everybody's encouraged me to litigate this. I've been involved in litigation before, and I have a pretty good track record because yeah. I protect my property rights. I don't care if it's real property or intellectual property. Well, this seems like... Uh... <sighs> They're going to have to, I mean, there's just too much pressure now. With the fact that they've actually found real bones in the East River, that there's no other way they could have gotten there. I mean, just yeah. how the hell else are you going to find a step bison bone in the fucking East River? It's clear that they dumped that stuff. Oh, yeah. And they, they denied it at first. You know, check this out. So it says I... Uh, in the tons of ivory unearthed in a year. Wow. These are the fearsome reminders of a period when cavemen were not the only things girls had to look out for. Wow. That was, that was AM. <laughs> Money isn't always so easy to find. Gold miners in Alaska loosening up the frozen earth found not gold, but the treasures of past ages. A mammoth tusk nine feet long was just a part of the 12 tons of ivory unearthed in a year. Wow. These are the fearsome tons. reminders of a period when cavemen were not the only things girls had to look out for. <laughs> Hilarious. The way they talked back then was so strange. <laughs> what a weird way to talk. Like, why why they all choose to talk like that? I don't know. Very weird. It's like when they first heard themselves recording. Well, I would like to sound a little more fancy. <laughs> mm. Anyways, that's that's uh, that's their collecting techniques, and they sent everything. They weren't supposed to take all that stuff. They were only supposed to take bones of scientific value, and and they were supposed to research every one they took. And they're supposed to, under the agreement I had with them, or my my company, do a report annually on everything they took. And it was a tripartite agreement with the University of Alaska, AM and H, and my company, Fairbanks Exploration. And they didn't do any of it. And when I bought the company, I went to the University Museum, and the curator there. I said, "I bet you know why I'm here." He goes, "I think I do." I said, I want the bones back. He goes, let's go to New York City. Let's go get them. So we all went to New York City to get them. And they gave me a nice tour downstairs of the, of the basement and showed me the tons Trying and tons to pull of it together, but it's just me out. They don't want to see us do well, drowning in the water, but they wish him well. Got a little close when we fell. At least we have a story to tell. To the city got out the hood father's business is taking off mama smiling proud she gotta quit a job sister's got a new man treats her like a queen bestie kid still doing me society